So this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to create tornadoes. As you can see here, I've made a few renders with my tornadoes. Um, so we'll be creating something like this. And um, you could actually animate this if you wanted to. We're going to be using a lot of modifiers. Pretty simple, easy. We're going to start off with a basic cube. You can use whatever, whatever mesh you want. We're just going to start off with a cube. And we are going to scale this on a Z axis. Bring it up above the surface. And we're going to actually apply this transformation. We're just uh, control Z or sorry, control A, apply all transformations. Go into edit mode, subdivide this like four to five times. We'll just do four times. And uh, Going to the modifiers, we're going to add a displacement, a new. Click on the texture tab. Here we can just add whatever we want, just play around with these settings. For this video, we're going to be focusing on the clouds. Bring down the darkness of the background, so you see a little, a little bit better. All right. Now going back to the uh, displacement, we just turn the strength up a little bit. And we're going to add a few more modifiers. We're going to add a subdivision. Actually, no, we're going to add a simple deform. We're going to add a few of these. So we'll add another one, another one, and another one. We can collapse these. We're also going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Turn this to two. We're going to actually bring the subdivision surface modifier the very front because we're going to actually add another one at the very bottom to make it smoother and put a two on it now the very first simple form modifier we're going to have this twist on the z-axis we're going to put this on 360 okay now the second one we're going to have this on twist z-axis 360 third one we're going to have this on twist Z axis 360. And the fourth one, we're actually going to have this one paper down on the Z axis. And we can actually play with the factor to our liking. As you can see here, now it kind of looks like a twister. Now, the way to have this look a bit different is by the, the, by the placement of these modifiers. So So if you have this displacement at the very bottom, it'll look different. Just play around with these settings and you'll get a different variation with all of these. Also, if you want to animate it, you can do as you can do that too. Just animate this barred angle and then you can keyframe it if you want to. Um to get this effect where it's actually come in at an offset angle from the sky. What you need to do is add a simple deform modifier. We'll put this above, above the subdivision. We can bend it. Place this somewhere where it looks good, maybe right here. Depending on where these modifiers are placed, uh, you'll always get a different look, a different outcome. So um, I think the third, mm, fourth maybe, and yeah, the fourth one looks kind of good. And then if we just mess around with the angle. And the twist of it. Make sure that these are in different orders. Just play around with the order, and you'll just get different variations within the within the tornado. All right, so let me fix this real quick. 
Now, for the shader, I usually just use a basic shader. What we can do is we just change this shader into a principle of volume. Put the volume into the volume of the out, uh, material output. And the weird thing about this is um, you'll get these artifacts if the density is a little bit low, where it's like cutting out. Um, the way to fix this is I usually, you can do it, you can do it inside of Blender, it's just a little bit more work, but I usually just fix it inside of uh, Photoshop. But yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial on how to make a tornado, a simple tornado. We can also animate it if you want to, but if this video has helped you in any way, um, please leave a like, comment down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.